Any Porsche 911 is an amazing car. It's an indisputable fact, but I've always tried to avoid that cliche, Porsche 911s are just the best that creeps into the heads of so many automotive journalists. And then you drive one and everything clicks and it makes sense, all the things that people say. And for me, the best version of the 911 has always been the GTS, as long as it's been around. And that's because it represents a great middle ground from the base models up to the Insano top versions. And this one here is no exception. This is the 2022 Porsche 911 GTS, and it's excellent. This is the Targa model. You can get these as a coupe or convertible too. And the Targa is actually the most compromised of the three, but somehow it's still my favorite. I'm not a convertible fan personally, but the ability to open up part of the top here is excellent. And you still get the blacked out exterior trim pieces front and rear, including the Targa bar and Targa script. Also check out these wheels. So the fronts are 20s and the rears are 21 inch wheels. And these are taken from the Turbo S and check it out, real center locks. The cabin on this one, color-wise, is a perfect match for the gorgeous Aventurine Green metallic paint on the outside, and I'm positive that I pronounced that wrong. It's a sumptuous brown that highlights Porsche's latest generation of infotainment, which easily pairs with your phone to display wireless Apple CarPlay. Android Auto, curiously, still requires a cable. Regardless, the seats are excellent, the controls are well-placed, and the buttons on the steering wheel mean your hands and eyes can stay where they need to be. As for power, every Porsche 911 is a turbo, but not all of them are turbos. On the GTS, you get a three liter twin turbocharged flat six that produces 473 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. That's a nice 30 horsepower and 30 pound-foot improvement over lower tier models. You also get the Sport Exhaust as standard and the Sport Chrono package as well, which brings dynamic engine mounts and quick drive mode switching. So the wonderful thing about the GTS is that it lives in a space that is in the middle and it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get some, you know, basic stuff from the lower tier cars and some stuff from the higher tier cars. Now the coupe and the convertible version actually get the rear suspension set up very similar to the GT3. They sit a little bit lower and there's some helper springs with, that help with dynamic stability. The Target doesn't get that because I believe due to the added weight of the roof, so it, it ditches that. Now, also speaking of the differences between the coupe convertible and the Targa, the coupe and convertible can be had as rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, whereas this Targa is only all wheel drive. But what you can get between all three of them is a choice between a seven speed manual or a PDK, the eight speed PDK gearbox. And the manual feels great. The shift lever throws are based off the higher tier models. So the, the feel of this gearbox is excellent. The clutch feels nice. There's a great rev matching system, which you can turn off if you don't want. And then if you don't want any of that, obviously the PDK is one of the best gearboxes on the planet. But even with the Targa not getting the full suspension that the Coupe Convertible get, this is nine tenths of the GTS experience. If you want the full Monty, you gotta get the Coupe and you gotta add the lightweight package and that would be one amazing machine. But as it sits for me, this Targa is dang near perfection. Now with Sport Chrono, you've got the drive mode selector on the steering wheel here. In normal mode, the car's fine. In Sport Plus, everything ramps up, including the exhaust, but it's still totally fine on a daily basis. I really like individual though, where I put everything in Sport Plus and then relax the suspension a little bit. One of my favorite features of this car though, because it has the optional nose lift system, which is not a cheap package by any means. This also has the optional rear axle steering, but the nose lift is a smart nose lift system in that it can remember points on the GPS. So when I pull into my, when I'm getting close to my house, it knows I want to activate nose lift and it does it automatically. That is brilliant. But power, torque delivery, this thing revs to 7,500. Sounds good the whole way there. Pulls hard. Those huge brakes haul you down easily. The seats are super comfortable. The display in front of you is great. Again, with the rev matching, you're not gonna miss your shifts, you're not gonna mess anything up. Let the world sing it's hear the song of this trumped up twin turbocharged three liter flat six. It's, this is just an all around wonderful, wonderful machine. I really would love to see what this can do in a more dynamic environment, but I've driven it on canyon roads, I've pushed it in a relatively responsible manner on some off-camera time, and it's just, it's a pure 
joy of a vehicle to drive aggressively. But then on the flip side, because it's the GTS, everything relaxes. It's not always in hyper insane mode. It calms down and you can commute. You can go out and with your partner on a wonderful evening and not have them wanting to puke because you're driving like a maniac and the ride is gonna to be too rough. It's none of that. It is, I keep saying it's the best of all worlds with the Porsche 911 and that's, it's true. It, you keep coming to, back to that for a reason. That really sums it up. This is an amazing 911 experience and of course, you know, you gotta pay for the privilege. Okay, price. This part is always the part that hurts when you start daydreaming about owning one of these things. A coupe starts around $138,000. The convertible is right around $150,000. Those are both rear-wheel drive versions. The all-wheel drive coupe is $145,000 and the all-wheel drive convertible is $157,000. A GTS Targa like this one starts at $157,000 as well. But a GTS like this one, specced specifically like this Targa, is $175,000. And my goodness, that is a colossal amount of money. Money aside for a second though, this is an amazing machine. And if you're shopping for one of these, you have some dough to spend. And this is an amazing middle point in the brand because it's not as bonkers or nearly as expensive as the top stuff. It's better than the base stuff. I get why people worship 911s. The tagline makes perfect sense to me now. There really is no substitute. Thank you.